Good morning. Um, I, as you can see, I just got out of the shower. I know you're not supposed to do this, but um, I forgot to bring in my normal hair wraps into the shower. So it was either that or I have dripping wet hair. Anyway, Luke's in the shower at the moment and we're pretty much packed. Like, that's our two suitcases. Yeah, I just need to put in our final electronics, but I forgot to plug my headphones in last night, so they're just charging. And put my shoes on. I've got my like belt bag thing so that we don't lose our passports and stuff. My backpack, and yeah, to be honest, I'm just so excited to go. I just need to make the bed. Yeah. Sorry, this is so anticlimactic. We've just woken up. It's actually 6 30. We woke up at 6. So it's not going too badly. We have already made breakfast and we just made shakes so that we can take them on the go. So yeah, very excited. Good, good. I'm still standing here. This is where I wanted to come. Searching for steady ground. Like Marketplace. A place to settle Hi. down. No reasons left to find. One day I'll change your mind. And it won't come. Wow, that water's so clear. But I know. Good morning, it's the next day. I like barely spoke yesterday because we were kind of just walking around. But I thought there's nobody here and so I don't feel awkward <laughs> talking. But we are in, so we're staying in Novotel while we're in Zurich. And it's really nice, like I don't think we've ever stayed in a place like this before. But um, they've got like a gym, there's a pool just behind me here. But there's like a gym that we're just gonna have a workout. Oh, it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday, by the way. And so we decided before we call my family in New Zealand, we are just gonna have a quick workout. So yeah, I'll just take a few videos of what we get up to. Good morning. <laughs> I'm like so sweaty that was good though felt like that was a really good like well equipped gym okay. how did you find it good it's all pre-core stuff which is the same that like all the anytime fitness is mm. um, have yeah so it's like not hotel gym equipment <clears throat> proper like gym proper gym equipment. gym equipment yeah but it was good I felt like it was a good way to get up get moving had a good stretch Oh my gosh, all of the walking that we've been doing recently, I just haven't really stretched out and my hip flexors yeah. have been dying. Take a some heavy dumbbells. I mean, it's good for me. You're a power lifter though, not an average Joe. Average Joe. <laughs> anyway, we need to go because we're going to go call my family and then we're going to go up this like mountain called uh, Felsenegg, I think. It's down in the south, if I'm correct. But um, it has like 360 degree views of the city, I think. So that'll be nice. I think there's a restaurant at the top, so yeah. I'll take some footage and overlay it. <laughs> We're at Fells and Egg. We're gonna go up the cable car. We saw this little church thing. We just found this like church. Is it church? Kirche. Kirche. It looks like a church. It yeah. It doesn't look like a cathedral. Like unbelievably stunning.
There we go. Stand up paddle water. Can afford it. There would be a nice place to live. I know. It is very nice. Like, you've got all of the central city conveniences plus a giant lake. We are now at the Grosse Munster, I think is how you say it. We haven't found Carl. And we haven't found Carl. We're trying to find Carl de Grosse, or so I've been told, the Statue of Charlemagne. <laughs> so this is Carl de Grosse, otherwise known as Charlemagne, and he's like tiny. He's a tiny girl. <laughs> oh, that's it, So on this day we went out to a place called Rappersville Yona, I think that's how you say it. It's about an hour to an hour and a half from Zurich by ferry and it was so, so pretty. It definitely had a bit more of a Grecian style, I would say, or Italian, I'm not too sure, I haven't been to either place. But it was just so like stunning and the architecture was beautiful and the sky was so blue and it was really nice very different to Zurich so we just walked around the streets for quite a bit and we bought some food and then walked up to the castle or church I'm I really can't remember to be honest but we went up here and ate what we bought from the bakery and then we went inside the little church that was connected to the building this is so insane we're at like a castle at the top of which part are we at? Hmm? Rappersville? I think Rappersville, I can put it on the screen. But this view is just unbelievable. Luke's saying he thinks this is the best part of Switzerland that we've seen so far. And it just goes all the way around. Yeah, you agree? Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Luke's becoming an Italian. He's got his like linen shirt. <laughs> breezy. It's breezy. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. Little white spotted deer. They look like they're oh actually getting plagued with the flies. Oh. Very cute though. Yeah. And then we walked back down the hill and Luke and I actually bought some iced coffees. And then we caught the ferry back. It was such a nice day. But unfortunately, we had to work at the end of the day. So we bought some gin tonics at the bar in the Novotel. We just went down there to work because we thought it would be a little bit nicer and we could give my mum some peace and quiet. But I didn't have an adapter for my laptop and so we couldn't actually end up doing that much. We did a little bit. I managed to catch up on some emails for my job that I have in New Zealand. So yeah, overall it was a really nice relaxing day. I must say I did get a little bit sunburnt but it was a really good day overall. When we woke up on day four, this was our last day and I just really wanted to get a workout in. I have the CZ timer. If you know Sarah's day, she's a YouTuber. But I have her timer and I was just doing one of her sweetie shredders. I had to alter it a little bit to fit with my knee because I'm still having issues with my knee. Overall, it was just really good to move our body in the morning, especially 
because we were going to be sitting on a train for the rest of the day. We are leaving Zurich today. So we just did like a quick workout in the hotel gym again. And then I think we're just gonna go for like an hour to the London Museum because there's two exhibitions that I wanna see and we've only really got an hour before the train needs sleep. So I might take some clips there. I'll see how it goes. I don't know what policies are on cameras in the museums here. So I'll have a look how it is. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna finish off this vlog. I have no idea when this is going up because we're traveling and <laughs> we don't have that much time. But thank you for watching this part. There'll be so many more parts of Zurich vlogs. So, oh, of Switzerland vlogs. So make sure to, yeah, subscribe if you want to stick around. Otherwise, I will see you again soon. Bye. So we then went to the London Museum, like I said. It's actually really pretty outside, so I took a lot of scenic shots, but I unfortunately wasn't able to film anything in the Anne Frank exhibit, which is one of the ones that I really wanted to go to. And it was really good. I've never learned too much about Switzerland's involvement in the war. And so it was really eye-opening for me on that front. And then we went to a sleigh museum because I'm obsessed with winter. The exhibit was just like a whole bunch of sleighs from history. It was, to be honest, it was a bit funny, but it was really fun to walk around and learn about all the different sleighs and the way they were made. and the different purposes that they had and so forth. And then we just caught the train to our next destination. It was a really nice way to end the trip, just walking around the museum and then catching a train. Surprisingly, there was really good Wi-Fi, so we were able to work on the train and some of the trains didn't have Wi-Fi, but there was really good reception. So overall, it was a really good trip. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. There are a lot more coming. I filmed so much, which is why it's taken me so long to get them out. If you want to stick around for the rest of the Switzerland vlogs, then definitely subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you later.